All right, the I can for today is, whoop, let's get clear, there we go. I can compare multi-digit whole numbers. And before we can compare, we have to look at our three basic um, comparative symbols. So we're gonna start with greater than, okay? And how I like to remember the difference between the greater than and the less than, I know I haven't drawn less than yet, but as you read from left to right, you're gonna look at this symbol and look at it from left to right. And because the two um, endpoints are open on this end, I can say greater than. So this symbol is greater than. So my first comparative symbol is greater than. Then I have the opposite less than and like again how I remember is you read from left to right so look here this is the closed off point right it's smaller or it's less than the open portion so it's less than reading it from left to right and then finally we have our good old equal to so I can compare multi-digit whole numbers using the three symbols greater than less than and equal to. Now to compare numbers is fairly straightforward. Okay, let's say I have the two, um, let's do example problem A. So let's say I have two values that I'm comparing. The first value is 23,643. And I'm comparing it to, I'm gonna write my symbol in this um, circle, 23,987. Now using whole numbers, um, we kind of lucked out here because they have the same number of digits in each whole number, but that's not always the case. So number one thing when you're comparing numbers, whole numbers, you want to line up each place value. Okay, so I'm just gonna add on the decimal to each um, number so you can see where the, dec where the place values line up. So I'm gonna start with writing out my first value and I'm gonna line up the two numbers so they are lined up according to their place value. So 23,643. I'm going to bring this down underneath and line it up. So just making sure the threes and the one, threes and the one. So the seven is the ones I'm starting right here. So right, so 23,987. So now I can compare place value by place value. So when you compare place values, you always want to look at your greater values first, because even though there might be a difference in the smaller values, you always want to start with the greater values, because even though the, this number, let's say, they're all greater, let's say, um, let's say this was a two, even though this number is greater than this number, it's a seven, um, this value is still going to be greater because it's the hundreds place is different right before that so let's go in order so let's look at the ten thousands is two and two the same yes they are so far so equal what about the thousands three and three are the same yes so far they're equal now let's look at the hundreds place value we have six hundred and nine hundred i know that nine is greater than six so i can automatically say that the nine is greater than the six so that twenty three thousand nine hundred eighty seven is greater than 643. So this number is right here, right? So it's greater than, so this is less than. So 23,643 is less than 23,987. So line up your values, making sure that they're in the correct place values to um, compare. And then um, find your symbol that matches your answer. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do B. Let's do um, two different values with um, two different number of digits. So let's say 7,043. And then we have 7,000, or it's, yeah, 743, excuse me. Okay, now you're comparing these two values. Now you might look at this and automatically say, hey, thousands is greater than um, a value with no thousands. That's automatically going to be greater than. That's fine and dandy. But I want you to still practice lining up your values to compare value by value. Okay, so we have 7,043, right? You're comparing that to 743. Now notice I didn't start writing the seven right here because I need to line up my place values, right? So here's my decimal to represent um, the ones on the left-hand side, right? And remember, you always start with the larger place value first. So a seven compared to a zero, really, because there's no 
um, thousands in this value. So seven is greater than zero, right? So I can automatically say, like we thought before in the beginning, that 7,000 is greater than no thousand. So this value, 7,043, is greater than 743, greater than 743. Okay, it's a pretty short video, but we're looking at I can compare multi-digit whole numbers using those three symbols greater than, less than, and equal to. When you compare values, you're using those three, one of those three symbols. And you always want to make sure when you compare your two values that you line up your place values and compare um, value by value, starting with your greatest and ending with your least, even if you even need to get there. Okay, and that's it.